Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Gargan's Imperion Workshop. Now this here is the lovely Morgan SK. Let's say for starters you won the base and uh, you just started the game off so you will be in uh, well a large uh, wreckage or something like that. Then you want to start with a build. Now uh, this one's carbon substrate 1310, iron ingots 1528, silicone 354, iron copper as uh, 164 and wood planks is 3. Now uh, that sounds a lot, but if you take out a few of the wreckages, you will get that iron very, 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 very quickly. So um, let's uh, take a walkthrough of uh, the base. Um, start with the main. It has uh, one generator in with uh, 2.5 kpu power. Uh, the Morgan SK also is uh, turret compatible and uh, sentries. As soon as I'm done with this, we will have a look at what it looks like when it is completely upgraded. It's got a loading bay here, loading bay here, two loading bays or um, landing pads on the top with entry there. And uh, it is for O2 in... Um, O2 planets. If you want to have it on a non O2 planet, you can just put in a force field at the top. Going in here, this is a side entrance from landing pad 4, and in here is a side entrance from landing bay 3. Construction over here so there's one which can get upgraded to an advanced constructor. You have a container controller here with 152,000 storage, and over here is a repair room. You have a armor locker here with a repair bay that you can put over there. And here's also a container controller with 152,000 storage. In here is the medic bay. There is no medic in because I try to keep it as low as possible with the statistics of an unlock level of 7. The size class is 2 so it's uh, definitely enough and big enough to get everything in. You can have one of the medic ports here, one of the medic ports here and two in the roof and you have one to put in here. Then uh, there is also a place for O2 station just on top of that one uh, in the roof I will show you later on. Uh, everything is on sensors, uh, that sensor puts on that light, uh, that sensor there puts on that light. Same for this one over here and the same for this one over here. It is uh, just to uh, preserve the energy to a max. Then in here is the engineering. Now. This O2 tanks can be upgraded to the large O2 tanks and this can be upgraded to the tier 2 or the tier 1 fuel tanks. The generator space is enough as you can see there with the stack of the 4. The tier 1 generator will fit in there. There's also two solar capacitors over here and then if you go down in the ground you will see there is one as well and there is one as well. Now the base is underground um, for uh, protection of the core and then if you go back to the engineering part in this you can have a tier 1 or a tier 2 shield and there where the number 2 is you can take out that block and put in a tier 2 CPU. Then there's two ammo containers over there and all of these lights are on that sensor so if we leave the room, come into the room, everything. You can change the light, I always use spotlights and uh, try to keep the lighting as uh, minimum as possible just to see enough. You can change that to purple and that one to orange, it makes a nice uh, scenery. In here, 36 grow plots place, uh, you can just take out the block and replace it. I never have grow plots in a build due to uh, you sometimes don't have 36 grow plots uh, to, to um, uh, put into the build and especially if you want to start a base. I mean, you're not going to have um, a constructor to make the grow plots. So rather just put them in afterwards. There you can have three food processors if you want that much. And over here you have a place for three fridges. And guys, that is that. So what I'm going to do now is I will just uh, show you how it looks in, in night time. So let's uh, make it darker. 
as you can see there's more than enough light all round there is light to go and uh, the inside as well as soon as that light pops up it uh, has more than enough lighting in here to see where you must go um, so yes and this is how it looks when all is added and then this is what it will look like when you have the guns on you can also have these as retractable just take out the blocks and then you can put it in and then you have the two sentry guns over here as well as two sentry guns over here and there is room for one in here as well here you have the repair bay then in there is the medic and there is the O2 station as well as another medic in here there's the shield and there where P is is where your pentaxa tank comes in I have now two of the generators in and uh, also the fuel tanks over here and the O2 tanks over there with uh, four of these 16k containers as well and you can still walk underneath it you will just burn and have radiation and that uh, you won't be able to um, withstand and then as well there's the advanced constructor in so guys please just remember to have a wi-fi in uh, installed in this base i do not install wi-fi because uh, depending on where you want it i mean some will put it in the corners uh, always remember um, to have more than one wi-fi in a base to put it at the far ends of a base and uh, then you will have more than enough um, wi-fi signal strength to go around it in hundreds meters away so uh, guys yes that is the morgan sk if you like it hit the like button if you want to see more of these builds hit the subscribe button and just uh, hit that notification bell so you know when all the builds is loaded thank you for watching i'm gargan for real see you next time bye bye